Hey everyone. Today is January 27th, 2012. I am exactly 11 weeks today with baby number two. Um, it's my first pregnancy vlog, I guess, since my announcement. Um, I've been real tired lately, so I haven't gotten to doing vlogs as early as I prefer, but that's okay. Um, it's still early. Everything is going well. The symptoms are strong and persistent. I'm having a hard time with nausea, and I did not have that with my first child. I didn't have that with him at all. Um, I had heartburn again with him, but it's been bad. It, I've gotten sick a few times, and eating is hit or miss. I knew it was like that for the first several weeks. About a week or two ago, it started going to every other day. Either one day I can eat, and the next day I can't eat, or if I do eat, I get sick. Or just careful about what I eat, when I eat, and it's a challenge. I went in for my initial consultation around five weeks, six weeks, right around there. Just to set up and talk about um, prenatal health and stuff like that to set up for your first appointment with your full workup, and that one is on Monday, so in three days. And that will have like pap and testing, and um, hopefully, we'll get to hear the heartbeat. And that'll be exciting. Um, but yeah, the nausea has probably been the worst symptom. I've been very emotional. Uh, there's times where I spill anything will make me cry, and then I can't stop. It just goes and goes and goes. <laughs> um, so definitely feeling the the mood changes and um, moodiness too. Sometimes yeah, I just over the moon, happy, and or them like really cranky. Just a very just dramatics of each <clears throat> I've been experiencing. Tired, very tired, but it's getting a little better now. The past couple weeks, it seems though that and the nausea and the ones that are the worst <laughs> symptoms are starting to lighten up, and I'm hoping by the end of the first trimester that it'll be over with. Fingers crossed, you know. Um, like I said, my first real you know workup will be Monday. And, um, yeah, that's basically all that's going on, just trying to get through, trying to take care of myself and be healthier and um, rest because I'm just always so tired and I have a very physically demanding job and finding times to have snacks every couple hours and, you know, take breaks when I can, it can be a challenge and sometimes it just can't happen, it doesn't happen. And, that's really difficult, especially when you feel like you're going to pass out if you don't eat every two hours. And, you know, I've been anemic before and had troubles with my blood sugar and as well. Um, I am still taking the metformin. I'm planning to take it probably through the end of the first trimester, so for a couple more weeks. I hear it reduces miscarriage rate in women with PCOS like myself but by like 30 some odd percent, something like that. And hasn't really shown a lot of proven in the second, third trimester for anything in particular. So I think with the side effects that I'm having with it, it'll be best if I just stop taking it for the second, third trimester and start back up on it after I give birth. So it can help with milk supply and all that. I didn't have any troubles with it, with milk supply with the first one, but I didn't breastfeed. I, I had the supply, but I just, you know, I didn't try very hard. And this time I feel like... I really want to try harder. I want to do this right and do it from the beginning and have a plan to, to breastfeed and not change my mind last minute and it's too late. You know. So that is the goal. Um, other than that, I've been feeling good. I'm excited. I've been thinking about names and you know just daydreaming about stuff like that. I recently had to move in response to my financial situation. 
but I'm happy with the move. Um, it's had its own challenges, the property itself, but um, we're getting through it. You know, we're figuring it out. You know, we're getting, getting stuff fixed and getting things on track, so I feel safe and comfortable, and then we have a good home. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'll keep you updated as things go on. I'll try to do um, vlogs as much as I can like I did with my first child. Um, it's really exciting, but it's exhausting being pregnant with a toddler. For those that have multiples, they know what I mean. And I can imagine having more than one to take care of and being pregnant again. It's so exhausting, at least in the first trimester. So far for me. And it has been. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So, um, if you have any tips for nausea or energy, you know, anything like that, um, leave them below. I appreciate your love and support. Thanks. Bye.